And former President Trump has secured a nearly $92 million bond after losing his defamation case brought by writer E. Jean Carroll. Trump has asked that the judgment against him be paused. Now the judge has ordered Carroll's attorneys to respond to that request by today and says if Carroll opposes the arrangements, he will hear arguments this afternoon. ABC News senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky joins me now for more. Aaron, what do we know about how Trump secured this bond? Not much. We know that it was arranged by a subsidiary of the insurance giant Chubb, so the money is going to be there if Trump loses his appeal. It allows E. Jean Carroll to collect what a jury says she is owed after Trump defamed her by branding her a liar when she came forward with a claim of, of sexual assault that dates back to the 1990s. But what he had to do to secure that bond for collateral, we're not sure. Typically, bonds require a good amount of cash and probably some of his, his assets, his real estate portfolio. But only a few of his buildings are actually debt-free and could be become liquid quickly should the need arise. So there's a limited amount of properties. We believe Trump probably had to put up at least one of them. What are the next steps as Trump moves forward with this appeal now? So he'll have to actually file his appeal. He's filed notice of appeal, but his attorneys will have to lay out the reasons why they believe that the judgment was faulty. And they're going to say that uh, the judge made some errors, that uh, the, the, the law wasn't properly applied, the jury may have been confused, but they're going to lay all that out. And then there'll be a schedule for, for appellate court to hear it. Uh, and it'll wind its way perhaps all the way to the Supreme Court should he lose the appeal in the circuit. Now, over the weekend, Trump again claimed these were false accusations made by a woman he knew nothing about. Now, he's already been found liable for the sexual assault and for defamation against Carol in denying it. So could he face another defamation claim for that comment? He sure could, because the, uh, the, the E. Jean Carroll's attorneys have said there was no guarantee that Trump was going to stop. And they left open the possibility right after the, the jury award in January that Trump would defame her again, and they could bring another claim. Her attorneys haven't said whether they would, but Trump did appear to repeat the defamation in those comments on Saturday. All right, Senior Investigative Correspondent Aaron Katursky, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.